Welcome back. In this video, you will understand the hepatitis B virus serology so we can memorize it better. The virus has two main parts, the core genes and the surface proteins. And these two components give us five different serology markers. The first is the surface antigen. If a blood sample has the surface antigen, it means that this blood sample does have the virus and the anti-surface antigen, which is basically an antibody against the surface antigen and it indicates immunity. So if somebody has an anti-HBS in their blood, they are immune to hepatitis B virus. And we have the core, but it's so small and it's made of DNA, so we cannot measure it. But we can measure antibodies against this core. And we only get these antibodies from a natural infection. So if a blood sample has a serology marker of anti-HBC, it means that this patient at one point had a hepatitis B infection. And this is the differentiating feature between natural immunity and artificial vaccine immunity. See, for example, these two patients. This patient has been exposed to the virus. He was sick for a while and then he recovered. So he developed antibodies against the surface and antibodies against the core. And now he's fully immune and can never get the hepatitis B infection. This other patient has been given the hepatitis C virus surface antigen. Subsequently, his body developed antibodies against the surface, and that's how he became immune. But because he was never infected with hepatitis B virus, he was never exposed to the core, so he never developed antibodies against the core. Regardless, he is still immune just like the first patient. The other marker we have is called hepatitis B E antigen which the virus uses during active replication. So the presence of this antigen indicates active replication at this point and high infectivity. The presence of anti-HBE indicates less activity of the virus and less infectivity. But the presence of antibodies only indicates the presence of antigen. So if a patient have HBE or anti-HBE, they are infected and infective. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helps.